In this video, I'm going to answer the interview question, how do you deal with pressure? By sharing some ironclad interview answers that you can utilize in your interview. I'm Amri Celeste, your interview coach. I cover difficult interview questions and answers on this channel. Do take a moment to subscribe if you haven't, and let's just jump in. So how do you deal with pressure is a behavioral interview question. It's assessing your ability to deal with pressure, stress, and various demanding scenarios that would typically occur at work, particularly in pressurized jobs. So this could be a management or leadership role, uh, perhaps a complaints handling or a role with a high workload, such as customer care, where you're picking up a high volume of queries. I answer the top 15 behavioral interview questions and answers in this video, which I recommend watching before your interview. You can click the link in the video description below to see that. So a few alternatives to this question are how do you deal with pressure or stressful situations? How do you deal with stress at work? Or how do you deal with pressure at work? So your interviewer may ask any of these variations, but you can use the same type of answer. How to answer. So there are two ways I recommend answering this to make sure that your answers are comprehensive and include what the interviewer is waiting to hear. So the first way is to answer it directly. So talk about how you tend to handle pressure or pressurized situations with a couple of short examples. And the second way is to include full examples of actual situations where you have had to work through stress and pressure and how you overcame it. Now, if you're answering in the, the second way that I mentioned, where you're including a full example, then always include what the situation was, what task was created out of that situation or what problem you needed to solve, what actions you took and what the result or outcome was. This is the STAR method. So STAR stands for situation, task, action, result. And it's a structure that you can use to give rounded and memorable examples in your interview. So here's the first example answer, which doesn't use the STAR method, but is still impactful. I think pressure is a normal part of the working day. I'm used to working in situations where I suddenly have a high workload or priorities change at short notice. I like to give myself a moment to assess the situation. Although pressure can sometimes mean that you need to act quickly, I don't see pressurized situations as an indication that I need to panic or act without thinking. So if an immediate decision isn't required and it's simply the usual pressure of a deadline being moved forward or a sudden influx of work, I'll assess the best way to go about that first. So that can include things like reprioritizing my workload, creating a new workflow around critical tasks only, considering whether it might be more logical to ask for temporary support from other team members or whether other deadlines may need to be moved forward as a result or back and who I need to notify in that instance. So here are the key parts of that answer to pay attention to in your interview. So first is the reassurance. You're reassuring your interviewer that you consider pressure to be a manageable, normal part of your role. You include a couple of quick examples and you're not phased by it here where you say, I'm used to working in situations where I suddenly have a high workload or priorities change. So include this in your answer. Then in the second part of your answer, you cover your thought process and your approach where you say, I'll give myself a moment to assess the situation. And then you're again insinuating that pressure is something you're used to managing where you say, if it's the usual pressure of a deadline changing or influx of work. Now in the last part of your answer, you move into some quick but solid examples on how you handle pressure here, creating a new workflow, reprioritizing workload, asking for support and moving deadlines. In your interview, no matter how you structure your answer, include examples. Now, is this helpful so far? If it is, then do click like and leave a comment. That type of engagement is a huge help. And if you have secured an offer or you feel more confident in your interview already, then you can also buy me a coffee. There are steps on how you can do that if you want to in the description below. So here's the second example answer. This one does use the STAR method that I mentioned earlier, and I'll show you how it works when answering the how do you handle pressure interview question. I can give an example of a situation where I had to deal with pressure and make quick decisions. Situation. In my last position, I had to arrange a large complex annual business conference six months in advance. This was logistically complicated. It involved arranging travel, booking meetings and arranging speakers, accommodation, schedules, among many other complicated tasks. Task. 
I found out three months before the event that it needed to be moved forward by two weeks. Now, this doesn't sound like a long time, but we had employees flying out from international offices and rearranging projects around the date of this conference. So the task of moving the state forward was a big undertaking and it meant increased costs if the same venue wasn't available and a number of other changes. So there was pressure, but I decided to look at it from the standpoint of what was most urgent and the smartest way to move forward with the time frame I had. Action. Instead of getting to work on rebooking venues, changing flights and taking a very reactive approach, I decided to ask for volunteers to form a small pre-planning group who were willing to help with rearrangements at short notice. I called a meeting with the group and I assigned each person a specific area to rearrange and focus on. So one person managed the venue arrangements, another agreed to sort out venue logistics and so on. Result. Although I lost a few days of pulling together the pre-planning group, moving forward after that was so much smoother and clearer. And the event with the new dates went much smoother than expected. The leadership team hosting the event thanked me for arranging everything and shared very positive feedback with me after the event saying the attendees really enjoyed the event and the stay. Okay, so in that answer here, the situation is managing the annual business conference. The task is to arrange the conference based on the new date. Your actions were everything you did to manage the change. And the result was that the event went smoothly and you had positive feedback from the leadership team. So that was where the STAR method was in that answer. Now, the strongest parts of this answer for you to note are first in the situation. Now, remember, you're demonstrating that you handle pressure well. So mentioning that it's a large, complex conference sets the scene really well. You mention here that it is logistically complicated, which if you've ever arranged a large scale event, you'll know that it is incredibly pressurized and you list the travel, accommodation, speakers, schedules, and everything involved. Now, this is great to do in your interview because it gives the interviewer something tangible to visualize as you're telling the story and listing all the tasks. Then in the task scenario uh, section, it gets really specific here where it mentions that the event was moved forward by a couple of weeks. So here where you say that it doesn't sound like long, but these are the things that would be affected. And then here, this was a big undertaking. You're spelling out why the pressure is being piled on in your answer. First, the complex event. Second, the last minute change. Then in the action section, you show your approach and your thinking. Here, instead of taking a reactive approach, I decided to plan. This is critical in your interview. Show that you take a balanced, calm and measured approach, a plan for approach to sudden pressure. This is what the interviewer is looking for in your answer. Solving this problem on your own may have been more difficult than necessary, maybe even impossible. Putting a team together, like in that answer, shows that you can take charge when needed and manage pressure. Then in the results section, the event went smoothly and you explained here that you had positive feedback. Now in your interview, make sure that you make all of the positives in your result or outcome crystal clear to show that there was clear positive outcome from your ability to handle pressure. Now, if this helped you, do click like, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.